a little Tarantino there much, Gabrielle? Hey guys, this is my review for Season 12, Episode 12 of Supernatural. This episode was directed by Richard Spite Jr., otherwise known as Gabrielle, and wow, this guy really likes Quentin Tarantino. The amount of references I could make to Reservoir Dogs and Pulp Fiction started to overwhelm me by the end of the episode. He definitely has a huge flair for the director. There's a lot of inspiration. Some of it's borderline, but there are a lot of inspirations and homages to Quentin Tarantino's work. And seeing an episode like Supernatural being done in the same sort of timeline sense as Reservoir Dogs was admittedly entertaining. The title blocks, again, very reminiscent of Tarantino's work. I don't think we needed the time all the time, but either way, I like the idea of doing a non-linear storytelling with the Supernatural. It must require an extreme amount of time managing and script supervision to make sure that they're within the time limit of this episode. Either way, this episode started off with a simple sort of job. It was really quick. That's the one thing is, is like it's a, it is a twin Quentin Tarantino movie, which are like two hours long and very dragged out. This one was had to be compacted into 44 minutes so obviously some things start off a lot quicker than they should there's a lot of stuff like we whoa what we just kind of jump through everything what happens is the boys castiel mom and some hap sap uh are tasked with taking out this demon who actually turns out to be a prince of hell now at first i actually thought that this was another hell knight because all the normal tactics didn't work on him but then it turns out that he's actually a Hell Knight. He stabs Castiel with the, with the staff of Michael, which he received years earlier. Again, a lot of back and forth with the timeline of this episode, which was actually pretty cool. Castiel is starting to break down. Crowley tries to remedy things. But then they fight the Prince of Hell, all because the mom stole something. And you don't find that out what that is until the end of the episode. Either way... There's this really could have been touching scene between Castiel and the boys and the mom because he thinks he's going to die. And at first it's actually really good. And then they keep dragging it and dragging it and dragging it. And it just goes from actually emotional to corny as hell. And the whole time I'm sitting there going, yeah, he's not dead. And he'll be back in fine and new in about two, three minutes. Literally, that's how I felt watching this episode. I knew what was going to happen. The only thing I didn't know was how it ended. Because I don't know why both of these little twists at the end of the episode mattered. Either way, I enjoyed this episode. I liked the idea of it being a different style. From a structure-wise, I liked it. I think it was cool. There are some elements of this episode that did trick me. The cheesiness really threw me off, especially in the final quarter, but I did like this episode. So before I talk about those two little twists, I'm going to give this episode a 5 out of 7. Now on to the twists. Why does the cult even freaking matter anymore? What can't they already not kill without the angel blades, the knife, or hell, Michael's staff? Like, it was on the ground, don't know if it still works or whatnot, but you might as well give it a try. I don't understand what the point of that was, because literally there's nothing around. But what was the interesting part was at the end of the episode. Because everyone kind of wondered if Lucifer actually had been sent back to the cage. But is he? Because we see him conversing with Crowley at the end, but he is in a makeshift cage and Crowley has control over him. So why is that though? Is he speaking to him through the cage? Or is there something more? Did this egg actually not expel him? Did it not send him back to the cage? Did this egg do something else? So that's the thing that I'm wondering about. Is that egg that the Men of Letters gave them, was it actually something that could have sent him to hell? Or was it actually something different? So that does raise an interesting question, 
but we just saw the boys fight Lucifer and they really reduced Lucifer. Sure, it was cool to see him as Mark Pellerigo again, even though that makes no sense unless he's in hell. But either way, I don't know what they're going with both of these ideas because both of them literally lead to nowhere, in my honest opinion. And literally all we can think of for this Lucifer story is that we're just going to go in a circle again. The only thing is there's going to be the baby involved. And that's maybe why he's going to come back. But like I said, this season is literally grasping at straws. And unless they pull out something, I think this is going to just turn into another six or seven. God, please not let it be seven again. Anyway, guys, that's all for me take those comments of what you will. Oh, by the way, I've actually started reviewing the original episodes of Supernatural. You can check it out on my channel, and please uh, suggest what you think I should talk about in the next episode. I'm doing Bloody Mary next. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. See you guys next time.